I feel like it's definitely been one of the most productive Japan trips I've ever been on. This was a good trip. We've been killing it every day. I heard he haven't been riding diamonds back on to right? First time ever? Oh, he's killing it then. <laughs> My first backcountry experience was in, in Sauce Fay. That must have been year 2003. Yeah, and it wasn't easy. I have never ridden backcountry before. First time riding is here, like real backcountry. The first time I met Arrow, I was kind of starstruck, actually. Mark is definitely really shy, and he's freaking talented. He visualizes what, what he wants to do, and, and he goes for it, you know? I was super stoked that Marcus came. When I heard that, I was stoked, yeah. It was super cool to see a young kid to come along and see how he shreds. I remember seeing like this video part of Heike in, I don't know, 2008, 2009. And I was like, damn, he's good. And uh, now I'm here riding with him. That's kind of cool. They are two legends for sure. And uh, just to be riding with them is a really good opportunity. I really love Japan. There's a couple reasons to it. It's the, definitely the culture, and it's pretty easy access for a riding powder. We're just staying in a nice hotel and hiking straight up to the woods, like let's say 20 to 30 minutes, and finding spots. We are in Asahidake, Japan, Hokkaido, and uh, we just basically walked two minutes from our hotel, hiking straight in the woods and trying to find some cliffs and pillows. Hike is going. Good. I would have preferred a lift before hiking. I for sure like to ride POW, but I don't think hiking is the thing for me. <laughs> the first day we went up, we built like this jump out of the cliff. And that cliff was kind of big. I don't want to go first. Because I'm going to overshoot everything. He seemed kind of scared at first, you know, just going into a step down, you know, not seeing anything else, just the other side of the mountain, you know, just like a flat takeoff and can't even see the landing, just approaching it. I think he was a bit scared, you know. Drop! I was going to tap the tree with my hand. <laughs> when I jumped, I was like, whoa, this is really big. And when I landed, I was like, this trip is going to be a hard, no, hard one, because it was so hard to land. <laughs> yeah, you just got to take super easy on the takeoff, because it's like, it just drops you, so you, yeah. you feel like you're going so slow, so you need to spin fast. Yeah. But that's when you kind of like need to just like slow down the rotation. Shit. <laughs> One, drop! Nice. <laughs> that felt really good. I think it was really good learning experience for him for two days. Just like I would kind of set up the spot and tell him I would always like go first. So I kind of show him like where to start and then he could check out where I landed and then he could either take more speed or less speed. Arrow, how was the landing? The landing was really good, but you can still, you should try to go a little bit more this way. Okay. But uh, it gets to a stage, you know, if someone's always like showing you how to do it, you don't learn it yourself. And so after a couple of days when Heike showed up, I'm like, okay, Heike, we can do this thing. Let's just let Marcus do his own thing. You know, like he, he will figure it out because that's kind of the only way he's going to learn. And now I'm trying to test to build my own jumps. Because until now, Arrow, has been building pretty much, pretty much everything. I think it makes it easier for him too, you know, because he's actually building a jump for himself thinking, okay, like if I want to do like a cab underflip of this, I need to make that copy of a jump. I'll set the jump over here. I think it just, I think he learned a lot. After a couple of, 
like Melo step dunks, I think he caught up and and he's been throwing down some hammers ever since. He was sending it the last couple of days, just like off cliffs. I went up top of the one of the cliffs that he like sent it off. I'm like, holy shit, this is where he jumped off on that pillow. And it's like, damn, dude, that, that guy's crazy. He was killing me. Every spot, what I saw, he's good. He's gonna be good. Hopefully, he's stoked on this because. You can just tell from someone's riding style if he's gonna like figure it out. Cause like, yeah, he has that like kind of floaty, really laid back snowboarding style. So you kind of like, you can already tell that's gonna translate really good in the powder too. So I, I knew he was gonna be fine. I feel like he's been doing this for a long time. Cause like, like having a couple of years before, like, you know, Lauri filming for cooking with gas and all that stuff, like didn't feel any different. Like it just felt like he's been doing this for a while. I think it's really cool for him to actually be just getting out of the park for a little bit, you know, and just kind of like realizing what else is out there, you know, so it gets, he gets a chance at least to pick and choose like what he really likes to do in the future, you know. After this experience, I think I'll just, when I get older, finish with competitions and stuff, I'll for sure start doing a lot more backcountry. <laughs>